All right, what is going on there, YouTube? I'm gonna fix my camera for a quick second. Just playing some four color shadow tonight. I've been playing this deck the last couple days. I've played three leagues with it, and I went I've gone thirteen and two with it. I think I think Tarmogoyf is actually pretty awesome right now. There's just not a lot of ways to kill Tarmogoyf in the format, and it just gets huge and runs people over. It's, I think it's I think it's just Tarmogoyf's under the radar pretty good at the moment. So how's it going there, M. Shrado? So we're gonna give this a run tonight. Hopefully, we keep doing as well. Um, I guess we'll start jumping the league. Wait, I can talk about how. I'm starting to figure out some cards that are like a little weak in the list. I think I want a sweeper. Um, Kologon's commands haven't been all that great. I might want something else besides that, but uh, this hand's pretty good. Let's keep it. We're going to have Delirium on one. So our traverse will be live. We're not going to quite have Delirium on one. One, two, three. If we find like a bobble, then we'll have Delirium on one. Okay, it's not bad. So this goes to the Overgrown Tomb because it can't get Breeding Pool. And we hope we draw a bobble or something to. Okay, so we're playing the Arclight Phoenix deck. Play Mulligan and put a card on top. So we should get rid of the Lightning Axe. So I'm assuming they kept a land on top. So let's get rid of the Lightning Axe. Not only a discard outlet, but it kills uh, Tarmogoyf if we draw it. So we're going to have to be a little conservative with our life total here. A Bobble or a Tar Fire would be nice. So, okay, that's what they drew. All right, Stub's not bad. I'm actually going to put this into play tapped because I think that we're going to get to the point of the game where. Um, we're going to get to the point of the game where if we want to use this dismember, we don't want to go too low on life total. Like it's a deck that can explode so well against us. Two. I would love to be able to dismember something here. Okay. Got a little back and forth going. But at least now I can... Go get a shadow, or if we can point something at this, so we also have stubborn denial out to protect it. This island's gone, right? Okay, so here we go. So we know they're gonna get back a phoenix. It's just how many. And it's all about how hard we want to go with our shadow, because I'm thinking we're gonna one shot our opponent here. Okay, Spire Bluff Canal, they bolt us. Yep. Got shot us. Okay. Okay, so they begin combat, they attack. So our opponent's at 17, which means our shadow has to be a 9, which means we can go to 4. So if I dismember this, puts me to five. Fetch shock puts me to three. All right, we're gonna just gonna pay. Because if we go to four, so we actually can go get a tap land, and then we can just traverse for a Street Wraith if we need to when we go to kill our opponent. Okay, that's not bad too. So now what does that mean? That doesn't really change anything besides the fact that I could just go get a second Shadow, but that seems a little greedy. So let's just go get a Shadow and play it. And now we've got Stub plus Rage. And we should be in pretty good shape. Opponent's got two cards. 
we're not going to stub anything that doesn't probably kill us. Was this a crackling drake? No, just a hard cast phoenix. Okay. So hard cast phoenix isn't doing anything. Alright. So opponent's dead. Because we're going to crack them for 20. What did, I, what did I say about that one shot? Okay. All right. As far as we want. I think we want all of these. We don't want Tarfire or the Leon of the Last Hope. Um, we probably can cut one traverse because we're cutting our tar fires. We could cut a land and bring in like a collective brutality or like an assassin's trophy, but that is it seems just not necessary. So let's just submit this and go with it. Okay. All right. So we have a fairly cheap Tarmogoyf. We're pretty. We're actually no. We have a. We can't cast our stubborn denials. We have to hit another land, and we want to hit like a discard spell. Yeah, I'm gonna log in. All right. Well, we'll keep this. Put this in the bottom. We're gonna be able to deal with an Arclight Phoenix here. Deal through this turn. So I think a discard spell here would kind of be nice because we can allow us to be liberal with uh, liberal with these surgicals. All right, so let's cycle this before. Okay, so what does that change? Let's we go get breeding pool. Okay. Pretty naked to a thing in the ice. Don't thing in the ice me. If we do get thing in the ice, we have eight ways in our deck. Uh, we have six ways to deal with it. Yeah, four pushes and two and two dismembers. And they're just going to go for this and walk right into our, okay, Swiss so Spear. If they don't give us anything to stub, I'm going to get a land tapped. Which appears is exactly what's going to happen. This sets up a pretty explo potentially explosive turn for them next turn. Because, um... <clears throat> Because like this can deal a lot of damage in this deck. We're not that close to getting delirium. Unfortunately, we need one more. We need like a sorcery, and then we're good. Or like a bobble. Okay, so Tom Boy's getting big. Probably have to, even if my opponent attacks with this Swift Spear. Probably have to block it. As bad as that sounds. If we draw a bobble or a discard spell, then I'm just gonna fire off a surgical to turn on this traverse the Uvenwald. Okay. 
tap land for our opponent. Please don't thing in the ice me. I think I'm about to get thing in the ice. Okay. Maybe not. God, please dump your all your arc light phoenixes in the graveyard. Is it Charm Island? Pretty slow start from my opponent, unless they're discarding. It's kind of funny if they, I guess they discard a Lightning Axe pitch at Tarmogoyf. And we can't do anything with that, unfortunately. Big thump from this thing. All right. We're in trouble. I think I am going to draw a step surgical these faithless lootings. Because they are going to let our opponent get through their deck. But we do need to hit just a way to turn on Delirium. Within the next couple turns, at least. What would we smack their draw their draw step to? And then with having a second one, we can actually like surgical something again. Okay. How they sideboard? They have three Crackling Drakes, two Swiss Spears. So the Tar Fires might be better after sideboard. Might be better than I thought they were. Now the question is, is it worth paying two life to surgical these this Mana Morphos because it takes it out of their hand? Or at least makes it so that it takes a counter off of this. So I'm supposed to eight, bolt to five, this deals three. They waste the mana in their upkeep. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm just going to take this mana Morphos. Okay, so they use it. And again, part of the reason them use, it's okay for them to use this is because they're using it before the thing in the ice comes down. And they waste their mana for the turn. It's not ideal. Excuse me. Okay. Here's the hit of Serum Vision. So let's take this, this. This. Okay. And now, hopefully, I can stub. Okay, so they bolt me. Go to their main phase. I'm going to stub this Serum Visions. We go to one. We get a draw step to hopefully find something here. We are playing. We are playing different colors there. There, Nick. How are you doing? Oh, well, let's just keep playing Magic at least. Do this before they have any counter spells. But we know their deck list, so they don't think they have any counter spells. All right? No, they don't. Have any, they have three dispels. Okay. 
There's the thing we knew about. The hard part is this entire deck is built around cycling. Okay. There's our boy. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a clock. We have one, two. We don't have any gut shots left. It's a card we are never casting or cycling. I guess we sideboarded out one sorcery, right? To take away two um, two tribals to take away from our delirium. All right, now we're in it. So let's attack. No, we're not in it because this unfortunately doesn't let us traverse next turn. Because we don't, we only have one green. All right, they have a bolt. Okay. Close, but no cigar. So, because they have swift spears, I'm gonna sideboard a little differently. And I think I'm gonna cut. They have three crackling drakes, so I want all of my fatal pushes and dismembers. I'm gonna cut one of these. Bring one of these back in. I'm going to cut, honestly, Tarmogoyf might be a little slow. I don't know if we need all four Tarmogoyfs. Team or Battle Rage also probably isn't that great. Yeah, I'm going to go with Team of Battle Rage is not good. Yeah, let's just cut these Battle Rages. Let's keep these Tar Fires because they, they just turn our deck on. I still think we need the battle rages. We can just make sure our deck, because if our deck operated that game, we would have ran them over. Okay, we'll keep this. We have Delirium on one with a discard spell and a way to kill uh, <clears throat> Swiss Spear. So if I take that again, I scry, but it doesn't really do anything. <coughs> I guess we're just going to get Overgrown Tomb. I'm going to hold my Street Wraith. Because it doesn't matter what we draw, we're going to do this. Is there any ways? Alright, this Lightning Axe is pretty annoying, but their hand is really glummed up if I don't take this. So I'm going to take this Faith of Looting. Like, the Lightning Axe does kill one of our creatures eventually, but at the way we're going, there's a chance that by the time we play a creature, at least a Tarmogoy if it's larger than whatever this Lightning Axe does. Okay, so they drew Seam of Visions. It might also have been dumb to do that because their deck is very redundant with that sort of effect, but looting discards cards as well. <clears throat> so the Lightning Axe will be an instant, which will grow the Tarmogoy by a point. So we can actually just play this Tarmogoy as a 3-4 if they go to kill this thing, Cycle Street Wraith. And then the instant going into the graveyard will make the Tarn Wife a 5-6. So we might be able to kind of get them here. What do they do? They, they split it. Yeah, let's just play it slow. Keep the tar, keep this, um, keep the tar fire, the blood crypt up for tar firing something next turn. <clears throat> so it's almost a, like assur assuredly a land, yes. Then we kind of get a two for one here, which is nice if they go for it. And it's not even like super obvious of us to do this because the Tarmogoyf turns on uh, the Tarmogoyf turns on Delirium. So it's like our play is slightly hidden here.
Okay. Primal Wave is bigger. Got him. All right. So now we can go get another Primal Wave. Or we can go get Death Shadow. Uh, yeah, I was playing Turbo Fog, right? And you were playing Mono Red. You beat me. If I remember. So I can go get a Death Shadow. But if I tar if I go just go get a Tarfire, untap, attack them, Tarfire, untap, attack them, Tarfire them, they're dead. Alternatively, if I just go get a Death Shadow, it's the same thing. I can hold up Tarfire. So I should cycle this. I go down, I go down two life points lower. But I'm not super worried about it. I, I, I think it's going to be very difficult for them to kill me from where they are now. Yeah, that was a good match. Good match. It was a good tournament. That was the first time I ever played Turbo Fog and Paper. I made, I made a lot of mistakes. That tournament. I think I got a GRV against you because I, I didn't I had eight cards in my hand. I got one because I was trying to play quickly and just like I was like turbo fog locking out my opponent and I went and I just drew four cards off the of Supreme Will. I was trying to just play quickly. So that one was awkward. That was a that was that was a, a, a sloppy tournament from the homeboy. Um, overrated. I appreciate the follow if you're still in the chat. Oh, yeah. That was the first time I ever played that deck in paper. They're going to do this again. All right. They're going to bolt my Tarmogoyf. God. Tarfire is great. We could have tar fired ourselves and not have to shock ourselves, but we have the land to shock ourselves to kill our opponent. So I figured we might as well wait until there's anything crazy going on. Yeah, that was a that was a tough tournament for me when it came to that. It was the first time I played the Turbo Fog deck in paper, and I made like the mistake of like I went to go talk to the judge after that because when I started to like take the game over, I was, I was playing too fast and I was making a bunch of like mistakes that like my opponents were, were most likely very dead, but I couldn't like, I couldn't prove that they were dead. Like it's not, you can, you can present a loop. So I was trying to play quickly to give my opponents like the opportunity to win this, the games two and three, like you did. And, um, and I just, I just went to the judge. I was like, I, do I have like the judge like you can play the same speed on turn one as turn thirty, if you want? And I was like, okay. Just didn't want to get any more, any more mistakes. Um. Starfire turns on delirium. That's that's it. Um. I'm gonna keep this hand. Like we can go. Breeding pool into forest, into traverse. We have dismember and this up. If we just draw a land, this hand's pretty good. We're one, two. I guess we're only two way, way to do later. This can be a third if we need it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it, but it's not very good. I stand it before that event was November of process. In that one, I, I, uh, I lost in the semifinals. Yep, I lost to a friend playing red black. Yeah, I think if you're gonna play a deck with Traverse the Uvenwald in it, you have to make sure you have Delirium. And playing Tarfire, like make sure you have Delirium. And like you do lose a little bit of equity when it comes to like Supreme Phantom. Wait, they took my dismember. So wait, wait, like an incoming Bob. One, two. 
I'm just going to play this. Don't play a Bob. This is, probably a, this is Bob, that's not good. A good way to lose this matchup is if your opponent plays a Bob on two. It's a Tarn Wife. Okay, I can beat that. I will yield until my next end step, though. So we're going to fetch an Overgrown Tomb tapped. Because likely, we have a Liliana likely coming in our future here. Well, now we can... Now if I go discard spell, I can avoid a Liliana coming down, which is probably just worth it. Oh, okay. So now I just take the Fatal Push, play this tapped, let them discard. They're probably going to take... Well, they take Tarmogoy if then my Traverses are turned on. Got ninth, jeez. Ninth is tough. I thankfully have never been bumped on breakers from like a major event, because that would that would be sad. So this goes takes my stub. So we're in catacombs. So now we still have three tarmac wives and we have a death shadow now. So we'll play this and then pass. Oh, I remember it being a clean cut. Yeah, we all just drew in the fifth round or the sixth round. I don't remember how long, how large it was, but we all were just like, yep. Everyone was like, yep, this is how it's going to go. Oh, they're playing Abzan, so like we can't win. This is the reason to play Grixis over this deck, though. You just, you can't. Oh, that's interesting. Them getting a path is nice because it doesn't go to the graveyard. Okay, so we don't know any more cards that they have. This Tarmogoyf may have 3-4 makes it so we can't play Shadow right now, which is sad. Street Wraith would be a nice draw. That's probably going to miss. Maybe it won't. Are we going to get Assassin's Trophy? Turn off our yields. Wow, this Assassin's Trophy is insane. Because it cuts us off green for our traverses. And this is, you know, something we did. We didn't put the forest in our deck. How did you do with the MV? I went uh, three. I went four, four. Did not make day two. Went three and one in modern, one and three in standard. Yield through this turn. So it's kind of like the top of their deck. And if I draw a green source, I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah. Modern is what I'm good at. Nihil Spellbomb. That is still, that, I mean, that sucks, but this is like Abzan from 2000, being 2017, right when this deck got good. Blast from the past. We can't block. My opponent can't really attack either. Unless I just cycle this right now, look going fishing for something. This game has not gone well for the home team. I think my opponent should cycle right now. Like. You're knocking out three types from my graveyard. You might just find like a Liliana, which would be just the bomb. This is not going to work how they want it to. Yeah. Rip opponent. All right, now we just attack in. It's Death Shadow is an odd card, ladies and gentlemen. Play this and pass. And now if we hit a fetch land, the game's probably just pretty much over. Because we're just going to battle rage them in the next week. If our opponent Maelstrom Pulses, then I'm going to hurl. Yep, scoop it up. 
All right, cards that are good here. Fatal Push is very good. Kolagon's Command is good. Assassin's Trophy is a maybe. Cards that are not good. Teamer Battle Rage. I'm going to go with some copies of Traverse aren't good because of Scavenging Ooze. This is an. I don't even know what Abzan decks look like. Do they play Bob? They probably don't play Bob. If they don't play Bob, then Tarfire is not good. Yeah, Maelstrom Balls would have been game over. Hey, how's it going, Nameless? I took uh, this deck here of yours that I that you were playing. I've been playing this for a little while. It's it's not quite your list, but I went. I've gone 13 and 2 over my last three leagues with the deck. I've kind of been liking it. Liking it much more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, so does this guy have, does this guy have Bob's? Brim Flare, Scavenging. Okay, so. All right, so tar fire is garbage. Okay. I kind of like this deck. It's kind of like an Abzan Traverse deck. <clears throat> what else? Is there anything else we can cut? Is there anything else we can cut? I don't think so. I think we're just going to keep it like this. And submit. Yeah, I do like this deck. I don't know. So, like, the biggest thing that scares me about this deck is that while it is better against unfair decks, we're going to keep this. We're just not going to mulligan in a matchup like this if we can avoid it. While it's, like, very good against unfair decks, it's better than Grixis Shadow against unfair decks. It's so much worse against fair decks. All right, so let's cycle this before we fetch. That it just worries me to play this deck. All right, so we gotta go get Overgrown Tomb so that we can have our Traverse turned on next turn. Actually, we're just gonna do it main phase. I thought I had a discard spell, but this will free up our mana next turn. So I should have got a Breeding Pool. I punted here. So I got Breeding Pool. I could held up Stub also. Yeah, no, this was this was stupid. This was very stupid. I played this like a jackass. Thought this was a discard spell. If I can do it all again, I get breeding pool. Alright, that's dead. And now I can traverse, and I probably just traverse for a fetch land. And we probably want another, we probably want to get Breeding Pool. So we have two greens. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not, we're not that, if this is a Liliana, we're kind of in bad shape, but scavenging use. It's a good time to have played all of our stuff. So I'm not going to go Triple Shadow because that could screw us. I'm going to go Shadow Tarmogoyf. I was going to get a Breeding Pool there, but I decided to just... if they uh, Now if they kill my green source, then whatever. I want to see if we can figure... Say it's Sandbag this Street Wraith. Or something a little more useful. Or something like... Our man is already used up, so cycling the Street Wraith isn't going to really change any of our decisions. So I might as well just... Hold it. Shockland. This is a Kalidus. And this guy is okay. So they can shrink Tarmogoy by two. They can't grow their scavenging news. But then we can just pump the Tarmogoy back up. So if they eat Tarmogoy, Fatal Push, their scavenging news becomes a 4 4. 
So that doesn't work. This guy is going to go 4 4. Even Tarmowoyf with it in the graveyard isn't large enough. So, all right, well, that's not bad. So now we can attack in, right? I can attack with Goyf. One, two. This they can they can only make Goyf. They eat fatal push. Now they eat all my creatures. The Goyf is still a four five. They eat like creature creature to make us a four four. We still have the street race. There's two instants, two sorceries. So yeah, they can't take a type out of the graveyard. So we still get an attack in. I think I'm going to play a sh one shadow and hold up Stubborn Vow. I just don't want to like walk into a... Um, I probably could have played that turn a little better too. Like attack, maybe force like a block so that they grow the other ooze. So there's a chance they take the Tarmogoyf off of um, Ferocious. Oh, land. They eat this. Tarmor comes a three. They pay. Get another one. All right. They're probably going to take my shadow. I sh yeah. Let me draw a fetch land. The nice thing about that happening is they need to commit two mana in order to now shrink my time away because there's two creatures, two sorceries, two instants, and offensive of a foremost. That's interesting. A fetch land here would be nice. Fetch land, dismember. So I can attack with both shadows before combat. Well, I can attack here and bait something. That seems kind of loose. So I think I'm just going to cycle because we might hit something, something a bit nicer. So we can hit something to kill this. Wow. We've drawn some good ones this game. Yep, they just scoop it up. All right. I'm going to grab a beer. I'll be right back. It is nice having four fatal pushes after sideboard against decks like that. This hand is an easy mulligan. I'll keep this. Uh, I think we want to put this on the bottom. Though this can act as our second land drop, so I'm going to put it on top. Just another removal spell, which this hand's missing. If our opponent plays like a Noble Hierarch or like a Mutal Vault, then we'll want that. Um, maybe we had an Overgrown Tomb and Thought sees them. Thought sees you. Now we're playing. Uh, this deck. All right, how far off are there? Muta Vault, two, three. So there are at least a couple things. So I'm just going to take this Reshaper. Hopefully, we rip the land next turn. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, opponent. All right, that wasn't a land. We might be able to get away with this because I doubt our opponent is going to ghost quarter us. But if our opponent did have the wherewithal to ghost quarter us here, then they would get us. Oh, they ripped a temple. It's not bad. All right, well, at least our smash, at least our shadow is a comparable size here. And if we hit another land, we play a bigger shadow and play Tarmogoyf. Nice. This is why I always thought these shadow decks were decent against these Eldrazi decks. Because your creatures are just so much bigger. As long if you could just live, you know, like um if you just make it through. What is this? Another smasher? Opponent came to play. Oh my god. All right. Okay, so if I just attack here, if I just block here, because of trample, how can I? I can beat a dismember. I just have to figure it out. Well, no. So if we just block with one and they have dismember, then they kill us. So if I double, if I just block here and they dismember it, it becomes a 2-2. Two, two. This hits me for 5, but then the trample kills it. <clears throat> yeah, well, I think we can beat perfects. If I double block here and they dismember my shadow, this becomes 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then this grows so it lives. So we just double block one of them. Yeah, but I think we can beat... The thing is that, John, John saw we can beat perfects. Because even if they dismember this shadow, okay, it's going to become a 2-2. Two, two. It'll get 5 damage, but then it'll become a 7-7 seven, seven again. Yeah, I do. Because they dismember this. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Then two two plus four is six. Tarmogoyf grows, so we don't take any trample damage with this. We take five, this grows, and we're good. What do you mean if they dismember it the turn you play? Oh, well, I just want to, yeah, I don't want to lose the TBR this turn. I don't want to lose the dismember this turn, I mean. Yeah, see? My brain is so big. <laughs> I think we're I think we're confused. Like that was why I attacked like that, to beat this member on that turn. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Because that's like Shadow 101, where the damage is dealt at the same time and it grows. Um, Assassin's Trophy is good. That's probably it. These Lilianas are not good. Um, they likely have Chalice the Void, but these Stubborn Dials are not that great either. Um... None of our cards are very good, to be honest. Like, Disdainful Stroke hits Reality Smasher, Thought Knots here, which is okay, but counter spells in the draw are never very good. Especially when we have to, like, we're not a reactive deck. They put a lot of pressure on us, not your control deck. I'm tempted to just bring these in and call it. If I see a lot more artifacts, so they likely have Chalice. Do 
The white dot in that sphere is all is dust. Do you think we need the third battle rage? So let me look here. There's an argument for K Command if they have Chalice. We have two Assassin's Trophies, and we get a discard spell in. What we could do here is they likely are going to have relics. So we can shave here, shave here. Let's try this and submit. The thing is, you need you need to keep a number. I think like you need to keep a number of tar fires in your deck to make sure your deck operates. All right, we can beat a chalice, so we're gonna keep this. Oh shit! Oh, we have an assassin's trophy. Leyline of the Void. So we can sideboard a little differently now. Because I think I think when you like when you put when you put this card in your deck, I think you it's really important to have some of these in there because like this is like a you're almost like a combo deck in some ways. I don't know. I'm thinking after seeing Leyline of the Void, I'm not sure the third battle rage is better because it could be a little harder for us to get creatures. All right, so let's lead off here and let's go get Overgrown Tomb. We're going to be able to rebuild Delirium right after we do this, I think. Or at least very close to with the Tar Fire. Okay. It's kind of slow. I kind of just want to take the thoughts here. We'll figure out the Dismember later. Another Scavenger Grounds probably means I should shave on my Traverses also. Evolved. Okay. Not bad. There's a boy. So we're going to go fetch. Then this is going to become a 3 4. One, two, three. I think this goes into the graveyard before, but I'm not sure. This becomes a four or five. They dismember. It becomes a. F then we tar fire them, and we're good. So let's yield through this turn. Oh, I guess like the scavenger grounds can mess this up. Alright, that's not bad. Yield until next end step. It should go into the graveyard? Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a rules pro, but that doesn't really matter with the tar fire. So now let's go get stomping ground. Let's see where it goes. No, it goes in the graveyard. Well, that makes it not that important. Take this. Now let's get our watery grave. Okay. It's, I just find it so odd how all that works. And now next turn, we traverse for either, we'll probably traverse for a Death Shadow. Or there are Scavenger Grounds now. Is this all graveyards or just mine? All cards from all graveyards. All right, I'll take it. All right, another Mimic. I think I'm in trouble. We're going to get beat by the, the most mediocre of beats. Maybe I had to block there. To be less aggressive in my life total. I guess I just go tar fire this. Go get a shadow. Then I've got the ground covered. I could also just traverse for two shadows. 
Then I've got here and here. They want to hit me in the air. I probably should just, but I can't. I don't have traverse turned on. So I have to tar fire this, traverse, get a death shadow, and play it. Now, can I attack, block, take three? If I've hit my opponent, yeah, I don't really think I should block. I don't really think I should attack because even like best case scenario, I hit my opponent to 14. If they fire up, well, hang on. If they have, a, they have monkey man in their hand. So if they just attack with this, Exile here, attack with this, they hit me for one. So yeah, I actually can send in the Tarn Wolf. Because one, two, three. Because this costs one, two, and it. So they can get in here. The most they can hit me for it, yeah. So we'll get in here with the Tarn Wolf. Rest in peace doesn't stop madness. Yeah, I'm terrible at the rules. Like I always just ask a judge. Did I just toss it? Did I punt? Okay. Okay, so. If I attack with Death Shadow, I then block with Eldra I block the Eldrazi mimic and I take three on the table. Alternatively, I can go traverse, make them pop it so it at least grows my Tarmogoyf a little bit. And I'm then I have a one-two blocker that threatens to trade here. So I think I just attack with the Death Shadow. Because we're going to put them in the Abyss soon. Like, we block here. Like, they can only get in for one point next turn without adding to the board. So we might not, we just might not just, we just might not beat them adding to the board. So I don't know if I should play around it. I don't know what the spell they have in their hand is. My guess is like a Ley Line. Yeah, so we're just going to go Traverse before combat. My opponent pops. Wow. No way. All right. So I get that shadow. Okay. That was wild. So now I attack with my shadow. I go fetch a basic. I'm at three. This block's here. This block's here. That leaves me dead to uh, dismember. Alternatively, I can just not attack the shadow, but I don't really like doing that. Oh, they just scooped it up. Okay. It is not. Rampager would have been game. Nope, they just were like, okay, I'm an, I'm an idiot. I wonder what the right play would have been there to do there for me. Like, the rules are simple. Tough rules. We've already got a lead paid for. We're 45 minutes into the, into the plan. Our league is paid for, which is nice. It's my dog's birthday, everybody. Philly boy turns one today. I'm super excited about that. Yep. There's Philly Boy. Do you want to see any Twitch chat? Sit. Sit. Okay, we're going for a ride.
All right, old Philly, sit. Say hi to Twitch chat, buddy. Twitch chat, say happy birthday to Phil. Oh, he's, he's nosing it. Yeah, Phil turns one year old today. Would you like me for the minutes you an L1 test next time I visit child? No. Why four color? I just wanted to play it. You cannot have my dog. No, Joe, no. Um, Nick, I, I am very poor at the rules. I ask a lot of judges a lot of things. I think there's some car. I think these Colagons commands are pretty bad. Um, you might want a sweeper, but we're three on this league. I'm I'm sixteen and two over my last eighteen game, eighteen matches though, which is nice. Um, so this is one two. We've got like potential delirium. If we hit a discard spell, we can always traverse our way to a delirium. But we don't really want to do that. I don't think you can toss this back, but it's. One of the lower quality of hands. Find another verdant guy. Like if we hit a, if we hit a street wraith, a discard spell, this hand's very good. There's not really anything my opponent can take. They can take tarmorwraith, but if they take tarmorwraith, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna traverse. I'll just tar fire myself. Took a time away. The thing that worries me, again, the thing that worries me about this deck is I don't want to be tricked into just running over all of these fair decks. All right. We're going to stub that. I find it interesting my opponent did not, they knew about this stub, which means they probably had like a Liliana in their hand. If I had to guess. Oh, we're going to find out. All right. Well, Liliana Last Hope is very annoying. But Liliana the Veil kills us. So let's go get Stomping Ground. Excuse me. And I will traverse for Death Shadow. <clears throat> Crash ones. Please try. Do you have any awkward spots where you can't double spell? Man, these are the worst part of these decks. Oh yeah, I think I think the way to mitigate that is to play the uh, is to play. So they drew. No, there's the catacombs. We have two cards. Is to play not play the forest. I think you just say like whatever, and you just lose the field of ruin, and you're okay with. I think the Field of Ruin decks are pretty bad. So, you know, I think you just have your piece there. I'm going to get an Overgrown Tomb and then play two Homeboys and just, like, let's just not get Maelstrom Pulsed. This matchup used to be easy back when you had Lingering Souls in the deck. But now we don't have Lingering Souls in the deck, so it's kind of relevant. Like, we we're going to use that to pump our Shadows. Shrink the boy. Let's get any moves. Nice. So now we send both of these at Liliana. Hang on. What if I just attack my opponent? If I attack my opponent, they don't have any cards in their hand, and I go fetch. Fetch Shock puts me to six. That doesn't really work. That's still like a little dangerous. I kind of want to attack this here and then attack this here. Uh, let's just get this Liliana off the board. The problem is that scavenging you is going long is going to wreck us. So 
If I just send both of my creatures at my opponent, my opponent takes five, takes six. I fetch once so that we don't die to a Raging Ravine activation. So they take five, eight. They go to 16. They just go to eight, and then they can block next turn. So let's just get this Liliana off the board. Yeah. I was wondering if I should just go at my opponent, but like, I don't know. I think either way, if this turn goes, if this game goes very many more turns, I'm going to lose. Just because like this scavenging is that good. Did you see the RP in Four Color Shadow that was more Soul Tie than Jund? I did not see it. The sad thing is we only have 14 points of damage now. So. Wow. We've been ripping hot this league. Our draw steps have been nice. I didn't even do the math on this one. And if you really want to beat these decks and you want to play this deck, then you sideboard a Ghost Quarter and play like three Lingering Souls. Why do you not like Cake Command versus Jund? It's just like, I don't know, it's, it's like a grindy card against a deck that outgrinds you. So I don't know how good that actually is. It's like you're playing into their hands. Are we getting the old Animate Rage and Ravine? You got it. You're going to try to trade. It's, it's honestly probably a good play for them to actually try to trade here and then rip. Unfortunately, it's just like not going to work at all. Um... Seven. Okay, we'll let our opponent do something. And then we'll battle rage. And it's like Maelstrom Pulse or Bus, probably. I don't think we can grind with Blood Red Elf. Okay. All right. 
All right, so against this deck, we're going to bring in our Fatal Pushes. Um, and then the cards that are consideration are these four. And I was talking about, like, why I don't really like this card, but it is it is good here. Like, it does give you a two-for-one. It's dangerous relying on two-for-ones against a deck that out-two-for-ones you, but such is life. So let's get rid of these two. We can cut one tar fire. I think we can cut one traverse because my opponent's going to play. Like, they play things like scavenging use, which is going to make things a little harder. We can probably cut a stub and a street wraith. I kind of just want to shave across the board. Keep all of these in. I like all of my discard spells. Discard spells are great. They're gonna help me punch the. the, the they're gonna help me punch through the game. Standard is good at the moment, uh, Nick. I've been playing standard lately. I just have I've played it on uh, I've been playing it on Magic Online because of card horror, but I do appreciate the offer, and I may take you up on that one day. You're not playing one or two lootings. I think that Faithless looting is just like pretty poor overall in a deck like this. Um, you know, you're already throwing cards away, like tar firing yourself sometimes to enable delirium that you just don't need to throw any more away. I do want to get into Arena a little bit. I don't know if I have... The problem is, like, I want to get into Arena, but unless I rely on other people, I don't want to spend money. Where, because of, you know, the awesome sponsored Card Horror Network, I can play Magic Online for free, which is great. You just draft and play set of standard. Well, there's two things. You are a much better drafter than I am. And I am not sure I have that kind of patience. This hand is the stones. It's a very good hand. We want to see something like a bob on two, not a like we basically want to see something we can tar fire on two. Alright, now this hand's great. So let's get overgrown tomb. Because that's the best land in our deck. All right, I think this is actually a pretty easy... Because Scavenger Use isn't going to do anything with one green source. We can kill Dark Confidant. We can kill Tarnal Wife. Dramatic. I suck a draft and also drafted the whole collection. It's really easy in Arena if you are competent at Magic. Well, that depends on the day. I kind of just want to take this Blood Rail. Because I feel like we can, like, we'll kill this... This will kill this, and this doesn't matter. That I think we're going to just like absolutely destroy our opponent. So the argument is maybe that we can just thought seize this later, which is probably accurate. So let's just take. If we just take Dark Confidant, then we can just play two shadows and not worry about it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Take Bob. We got to that, sort of, the Goat Boys. But Arena is the future. Arena is the night. Like, Arena, I, I think that it'll only be a little while before Modern's on Arena. I don't know if they'll ever get to Legacy on Arena, but the program's that good. They're going to want to, like, it's, they're going to want to want people over there because you get a lot of the competitive scene is Modern as like the Grand Prix have shown and SCG attendance, if they can lure those people over to Arena, it's even more they can get over there. So, but maybe they just don't want Modern on Arena because they want to sell cards, which is another whole aspect of it that I don't really know a lot about.
<clears throat> there's the forest. There's the Tarmogoyf. So we have like a little potential issue if our opponent um if our opponent like yeah what do I want to do I could thought seize because like worst case scenario our opponent hit a Liliana but they would have to hit land to cast Liliana and Liliana so we're just gonna play two shadows. Like, they have to hit perfects to really punish me here. A Kolagon's command is pretty bad. All right, there's a Bob. All right, so now I think we just kill Bob. Thought sees this Blood Ray Elf. We pump this Tarmor Wife up or whatever. They can attack me. Second Tarmor Wife, kind of an issue. It's a 5 6, 3, Traverse. Yeah, whatever, we can deal with the Tarmor Wife. Let's get this Blood Ray Elf out of here. Two Tarmor Wives is whatever. Yeah, dude. Deal. You're dead. You're probably not dead now. So you, you draw a removal spell. There, friendo. What'd you draw? All right, let's not get lightning bolted out of this game, but I will fetch a swamp. And then we'll kill them with a the tar fire if they let this happen. If they don't let this happen, we'll push this Tarmoroif, and then we'll traverse. Okay. No. Okay, so they have... Let me go get another shadow. And this is why, like, this deck here is just not that good. This Jun deck. Like, playing Jun is awesome. It's fun. Like, you always, you know, you always have the chance to beat your, you know, play, play your opponents. Okay. But, like, it's just not that great. They're going to play, they're going to play another turn here, aren't they? But they're going to be in the abyss. Because, like, you're losing to the big, like, you're supposed to just beat the snot out of this deck here. Oh, well. Nice. You know, like you're beating up on the deck that you're supposed to beat. Like, like you're supposed to beat these, as a Death Shadow deck, or as a Jun deck, you're supposed to be up on these other littler creature decks than you are, and you just get destroyed by these. By these. Because you just, it's just a much leaner deck that, isn't clunky. But yes, we're playing for the 5-0. I have traverse for a fetch and thought seize, I think. On um, which turn they're I, I I guess I'm far enough behind it where I don't wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's just like the what it comes down to. You're just like I cast more spells than you do. Alright, that's a good hand. It, it's a little soft to like noble hierarch. My opponent goes turn one noble hierarch. Yes, Lily is very good. Steam Vents is okay. I can deal with that. We are going to have to find some more interaction, though, because we're going to be incentivized to keep play Swamp on one if the card we want on top, well, is a card we want, like if it's another Tomboy for a discard spell. All right, it is another discard spell. I like discard spells against... This deck here. All right, so let's take this search first, Kanta. This is going to be a hard one. And this is what you give up being the Jun deck. Red Strand. Ooh. 
we already like drew our basic our basic swamp, which sucks. All right, we don't want that. <coughs> I'm gonna take their Snapcaster. And then we're gonna fetch a watery grave in response to the bobble trigger so we don't draw this burning catacombs. No, I'm actually gonna get an overgrown tomb. Because if they just now I'm gonna get a watery grave. My man is gonna be a little awkward no matter what, because they're gonna field me. Alright, well that's not bad. Thought sees you. Negate. Okay, so we know their hand. I guess we just feed this Tarmogoyf to the to the uh, to the lambs, and now we don't. We show them that we don't have anything to fetch. So if they, oh wow, they didn't draw a land. Okay, we didn't draw a land. We did, which isn't good. We have to like slog through, right? Like our discard spell is going to be working overtime. That's an odd one to hit, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah, like I don't think we can win. We can take six and go to nine here. But I think we've drawn. Too many. Uh, I'm just gonna get a breeding pool. Keep that land in there in case we want to cheese them. Oh no, that's stupid. I should have. That was so stupid. I should have gotten the red source at least. But I guess it doesn't fix against double burn spell. Wow. All right. I mean, we're gonna go for it here. Um. We're. Not, I'm not gonna go to six. Because I don't want to lose to burn over two turns. Now just like hope that they don't. This is wild. Okay. So we need a discard spell or a stub. Alright, we're not attacking. That's why looting is in Tarfire is just an enabler. I mean, yes, we drew like in our 18 land deck, like we drew one, two, three, four, five, six out of the top 40. Which I guess if you count fetch lands, that's still a lot. Right? Which happens, but like, I think that Faithless Looting makes Traverse worse, which is Traverse is what you want. That's why you play this deck. It's because you can Traverse for all the other cards. Uh, that makes sense. Well, the problem is we don't have another Shock Land in our deck. I guess I should turn off auto yields and then I should just play my lands out. Alright, they hit a land. Alright.
You got a dispel, you have a path to exile. Like, show me something here. You left up red. This deck is so bad. These control decks are so bad. Like, I literally didn't do anything for four turns and it still lost. And, like, yes, variance is a part of it, but when you play a deck that plays so many clunky spells, that's just going to happen to you. And it's like in a format like modern, you just can't do that. So we want to cut Battle Rage. We want to cut Fatal Push. Um, I want the counter spells. I want the threats. I want the dismembers for the Lyras. I want to keep in, like I could keep, I could bring in Assassin's Trophies, but like I guess I'm being a dead horse, but I would like at least a little bit of help keeping Delirium. If I can settle the wreckage, I mean, like, yes, like, and like, Tarfire is meh, but like, if I'm going to cut these Tarfires, I'm going to cut a Traverse, and we're going to play one Collective Brutality, two Collective Brutalities and a Trophy. Because, like, playing this deck has an operating cost, and I think that this card here or a card like Architects of Will is a part of the operating cost. Uh, this is like a... Okay, so we've got... Three bobbles, three street race, three traverses is nine, plus sixteen plus seventeen lands is twenty-six. And we can afford to miss our first land drop. Let me keep this hand. I would like it if this produced black. Bobbles that you like, last hope, one and veil. Yeah, I think Liliana the Veil is pretty poor across the format. There's too many noble hierarch decks, and the control decks go over the top of her. So we're going to go get Watery Grave here. I guess I probably don't need to crack this. Because we're not going to get... I mean, what, they, they kept a card on top, so yeah, I'm going to crack it. Because they're not going to shuffle it away. The problem is I don't want to have that many reactive cards in my deck. Like, there's a there's an issue when it comes to playing these aggro decks. If you board too big, you lose what makes you good. That's why I don't like I don't really think I like Hologon's command in this list. Like I would I would kind of just want to find something else that's not a three mana card. Like Wow, Moto's tweaking out again. Man. Issues with a stream tonight. I think Fulminator is too slow. I'd rather play. I would rather play a Ghost Quarter if I was going to play a Fulminator Mage. It's just too slow. All right, we're just going to take Snapcaster Mage here because it's two cards. And then we're just going to turn away from out of the game. Okay, so they shuffle away the Purge. I'm surprised they kept that on top. And this is why I kind of like this deck right now, is that the format is not ready for this card. All right, 
right, so let's lead off with a Thoughtseize. Our Thoughtseize trades for a negate, which I kind of don't like. I don't really like how we're letting our opponent use their mana. So I think we're just going to go like this. Which I should I should have played this tapped. We shouldn't have bluffed. Like because if I play Thoughtseize, it just gets negated. Oh my god, if they get lot if I oh they logic not me, I'm gonna feel so stupid. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. You don't know who's stupid? This guy. None of these cards matter, I feel like. I'm going to take a Lightning Bolt because they might find another Lightning Bolt and then kill one of my creatures. The format's, yeah, the format's not ready for Tarmal Wraith right now. Because, like, Tarmal Wraith just... It, it's like it's 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 pretty easy to kill. Okay, so now we just crack in. We can even play around logic knot. I've got serious BM juju going on here, going. I'm, just, I'm confused what BM juju is. Am I bad mannering, Nick? Or you want a bad manner? You want a bad manner, me? There's the check mark. Got it. Are you getting roped in arena? I hear that's an issue. Okay. Well, that was quick and easy. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be the last one for tonight. But let's move back here to the deck and let's just talk about a couple things that I, I don't really like. I don't like these. Let me make sure that. Look here. Fight with Fires earlier to stay alive. My Mari's Conjecture was the last card in my library, so I had to go through every card in my deck. And then I a new change. The cards that I don't like, I don't like this card, and I don't like this card. Let me scooch these over here. Put these over in the zeros. 60 damage and still. Are you, are you playing the Grixis Mars Conjecture deck, or are you playing it in like a in like a uh, Drake's build? I don't like these four cards. And the only things that I would think that I would want better or want as opposed to these would be something like a Radiant Flames. Uh, if you were that worried about big mana decks, you could just play a Ghost Quarter. But I don't really like these cards. I, th I think you can change. I think you can, if you can make these four something that's better, I think that. Uh, I think they're like that would help improve the deck, um, but I'm not sure what it is. There's not really a good blue threat that I like. The sideboard rage is just because you can't morph into that control deck that Grixis Death Shadow can morph into. It's just to bring in against. Um, Dylan, you know me. I'm as introverse boy all around. But I want to sleeve this up for this week's event. Nice. The main deck's good, I think. Yep, I think the main deck's good. Like I played this deck through four leagues on an 18 and 2, which is running pretty good. I don't I think the format's not ready for Tom Wolf. Um I, I I don't I don't mind like a Radiant Flames. A blue threat that might be good. If you have a lot of artifacts in your metagame, I've always liked traversing for a hostage taker. But that still is not necessarily super great to like hit a bridge. Um, you could just cut the collector brutalities and two, play two ancient grudges. Or like cut the two brutalities and play ancient grudge ceremonious rejection. Um... But yeah, besides that, I kind of like what this deck's doing. The last hopes are like okay in the main deck. If you have a lot of like, if you have a lot of um, 
if you have a lot of, uh, gosh, what was I going to say? A lot of unfair decks in your metagame, you could cut these. And then I would just make them, I don't know, more ways to speed your deck up. Maybe like another, maybe an Assassin's Trophy in the main deck. But... Well, M. Shadow the cool thing about Hostage Taker is you can bring it in, in the mirror and you can take their Death Shadow. I think they play 18. They play they play the forest. Yeah, if you want to play two overgrown tombs. I don't I don't know enough about this. Like, like I told you, I just I just started picking this, I just started playing this deck on Sunday. So yeah, I just played. I just started playing it on Sunday, and I just have these lands in here. Um, if you're like super worried about fair decks, like let's just say there's a sh like a shitload of fair decks in your metagame, just cut these four cards, make one a Godless Shrine, and play three Lingering Souls, and like just make sure that you don't have all five colors in your deck at the same time, like. Just cut red. Like, cut all of your red cards against fair decks. And, it, like, just be blue, blue, green, black, white. Um, against combo decks, keep your red. Or, I don't know what you would do against combo decks. You probably bring in your. You probably cut red and white. But don't play, don't play this deck with all five colors in your main deck. I like one man bitch with seven TBR. Well, I, I think I think that's wrong to do. I think I think that Battle Rage enables so many one shot kills, completely destroys a battlefield that I, and I think Gore Clan Rampagers doesn't do enough. Um I'm gonna turn the YouTube video on. I might talk about this deck a little longer.